I have a surprise for you guys. Come with me. The woman, the myth, oh, the legend. Man. Oh, man. I am so excited to see <laughs> everything about your life oh, in Fort Myers. Are you ready? Yes, I'm so excited. Star of show. Yes. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> my humble abode. <laughs> So this is my apartment here in Florida. I just decorated for Christmas. This is my very first time decorating. I did all that by myself. Well, not really by myself. My fiance helped me. I'm lazy, so I don't cook. What time is I going in there? Let's go in the freezer. So I make these like meals, and then I put them in the freezer because I don't want to cook all the time, like when I have my modes, I'm like, yeah, cook, uh. I make a lot, put it in the freezer, and then I eat it for lunch, dinner, whatever. But I love pizza, I had one yesterday. I love french fries, you know, my veggies, health. We're not gonna go in here because, um, <laughs> um, shout out to Sammy Jo Swintz. She's not even Sammy Jo Swintz anymore, but she's I'm so excited. She announced that she's having a baby. I'm so excited and so happy for her. Her and Eric are getting married. Super excited, I love them both. It was funny because last season, my boyfriend at the time and Eric, they were at, at AU at the same time and Sam and I were playing against each other and then we both look at each other and look up in the stands and they're just chatting, not even paying attention to the game. I'm like, were they here for us or did they come for each other? Like, what's going on? Last year at AU, my boyfriend at the time, he sent me a little care package and it had that in it. He was like, here's a little bit of the beach because I know that it, it's like a winter blizzard down there now, but Aww. it was so cute. It literally made me cry. I was like, oh, I miss you so much. And I just I you knew he was the one. <laughs> and at that moment, I you know. <laughs> I just got a coffee table like three days ago. It's adulting. I know. <laughs> adulting. I feel like so adult. Like, but, like I need a coffee table. I got one. I'm so happy. And I love candles. <laughs> candles are everywhere. This is your little spot where you get all your yes. work done. Productive area. Yeah, this is my productive area, aka my TikTok spot. When in doubt, I'm watching TikToks right here. My tree, I'm so proud of this tree. It's my pride and joy. My advent calendar thing I had when I was little. And then this is my bedroom. It's super just regular. I'm a pretty regular type of person. Not, I mean, I, I am a regular person, but like on the court I'm a little bit extra, like not a lot of it though. <laughs> so there's no TV in here because when I come in here I just want to go to bed. Um, and that pr happens pretty quickly. I go to bed at like 8.30 so that's word of advice. <laughs> go to bed early. This is my closet. We're not going to go in here because it's messy. It's really messy. Um, and then my bathroom. It's also messy, but <laughs> we're not going to go in there either. My two stuffed animals, they sleep in the bed with me because I love stuffed animals. This guy's Walter, my mom gave this to me. And then one of my girls from my team, Florida Southwestern, Katie Dickey, I love her to death. She gave me this as a secret Santa and I saw it in the bag and I was like, oh, I really want it. And then it was mine, so I was really happy, so. Is that a narwhal? That's yeah, like, oh, it is. Is. Isn't him cute? <laughs> I need help naming him, so. Any suggestions, just let me know. And <laughs> may the best one win. <laughs> Leave a comment. <laughs> Leave a comment below. And then I have this other little stuffed animal guy. This one changes between sad or mad and happy. But he just sits right there. <laughs> Wait, I can see me in the mirror. I'm awkward. I didn't realize I was a plant mom, but I kind of am right now. One of them is dead. I don't know how, but I think of it like life. The toughest survive. <laughs> so here, battle the fittest. Who's gonna win? Natural selection, you know? It is what it is. Tavo! Thank you so much for yeah. showing us your crib. Of course. I feel like we were on MTV Cribs. Yes, I feel like we were too. I feel honored. Thank you. Thank <laughs> it was you. really cool to see where you live, and tomorrow we're gonna show you guys where she works. Yes. Stay tuned. Yeah. We will see you tomorrow, bright and early. Bright and early, girl, be ready. Don't get fired. <laughs>
place. me again were you expecting anyone different <laughs> yesterday you got to see where Tavo lives and today you're gonna see where she works it's a little bit gray today I was expecting better out of you South Florida but we're not here for the weather we're here for Tavo so let's go feeling great headed to work you know the work yeah doing yeah. The, living the, the best life living my best life so this is Sun Coast Arena the most beautiful arena next to Minnesota of course <laughs> so this is where we get to play every week hi, hi. <laughs> how is it being coach instead of player oh man it's weird like I get very feisty and fiery like in a game I'm just like oh just let me go in there I want to go in there but it's like nope just gotta coach, just gotta tell them what I see, you know. Are you excited to get back on the court in a couple yes. of months? Yes, oh man, I'm so excited. Like I have so much pent up aggression just <laughs> waiting to ooze out. I'm so excited. So in the off season, it's mainly recruiting. So I come in the office in the mornings, kind of grind away, answer emails, look at video. And how do you, you know? stay in shape? for AU. So, how you gonna come back fit, strong, oh man. with all the muscles? Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> show us that one again. <laughs> oh. mm. Yeah, I lift, I work out, and we have an amazing gym here, or workout facility. I play a little bit of beach volleyball. Hopefully come January, I'll start to kind of practice with, with my girls, and we'll get it going. I cannot wait to see you back on the courts <laughs> in March. Same, I'm so yeah. excited, I'm so excited. Thanks for the tour. Yeah, of course, We will of catch course. up with you in a little bit. Yes, we will. Get some work done. I sure will. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> see you in a bit. See ya. My local spot, I come here all the time. So typically, it's really packed here on Saturdays. We have artists come and they show their art and we also have like a, a farmer's market type thing over there and it's just super cool and it's like a great place to just kind of lounge and de-stress from the work. All those emails that I have to deal with, I just come here and just kind of unwind and I love this place. Thank you so much. Tamo, so what is the best part about living in Port Myers? Well, I think the best part is first, it is not cold. I know I'm from Minnesota. Minnesota always has my heart, but it is cold 90% of the time and I'm not a huge fan of that. I've always wanted to move to Florida. I didn't know it was gonna be this soon. Everything's so chill, you know, like it's just a vibe. Being here down here with my fiance, it's kind of cool building a life and coaching my girls. They're the coolest people ever. And you know, just kind of building my life here. I'm gonna have to hold. What? What? <laughs> and what are you looking forward to most about Athletes Unlimited next season? I'm just so excited to like play again, you know? The first season, it was just so much fun. Even though we didn't have fans, even though we were kind of being strict with COVID, which is only right, but it was still so much fun. Meeting some of the people that I've always looked up to, meeting some of the girls that were in college at the same time I was in college, or you know what I mean? Like being around such great number one athletes and also people, strong women, it was so cool. Everybody's a professional, like we're all just going in, having fun, balling out. Everybody had that competitiveness that I have. We all make jokes, girl, you know you touched that ball or you shouldn't have done this. And for Ari, you know you shouldn't have threw my shoe across the, the whole court. You knew you didn't. <laughs> These are the friendships and the connections and the networks that you will have for the rest of your life. I miss my, my volleyball shoes, I miss my goggles, I just, 
I'm so excited to play. I'm so excited to get back to Dallas. Even more excited that fans are gonna finally be able to be there. And we can't wait to see you play. <laughs> yes. So excited, yes. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Good luck with the vlog. Thank you. So bright. Oh, yes, it's sunny now, it's finally. It's sunny. Beautiful. We just needed some hot chocolate. That's yeah. Enjoy your cake. Thank you. You enjoy your cake as well. We'll see you training. See ya. Bye. <laughs> I had all the time in the world and I could spend it as I see fit. I would travel for a year. I would take all of the pressure off of my shoulders. This is one of the two places that I coach. I coach with USA South Volleyball. It's a club here in Fort Myers. Love my girls. They're super competitive, hard workers. We typically practice on Tuesdays and Thursdays and scrimmage on Fridays. We will kind of just go over the basic stuff, like passing, setting, attacking, whatever, but it's gonna be more in like a group setting. We practice typically pretty late. Um, so today we'll be in until nine o'clock. What's the best part about being a coach? <laughs> Getting to experience volleyball again from that young age, you know what I mean? Like, I remember when I was 16 playing volleyball, like learning new things and listening to my coach and trying to do what they ask. It's kind of just like, whoa, like, okay, like how can I explain this? Not in a 24 year old who's played for so long mm -hmm. to a 16 year old. Yeah, they're really I bet cool. you're an awesome coach. I bet they love you. <laughs> yeah, they love me until I make them run. <laughs> I just realized there's a mirror behind you, so like, <laughs> everyone can see me as well. <laughs> oh, hi, hi, hi. It has come, the time has come. I hope that everyone at home enjoyed seeing a little snippet into your life, and I hope you liked sharing it with us. Yeah, it was, it was so fun. It was very fun. I'm glad everybody got a chance to see the life of behind Tango. the scenes, <laughs> day in life, the content yes. you asked for, you deserve it. Yes. I'll see you, uh, I'll see you in March. See you in March. Bye! <laughs>